in the red corner, representing Germany, Novi Djokovic. So we move up to the heaviest athletes of all here at Le Grand Dome. We're in the 91 kilogram plus super heavyweight division. And this first contest in the super heavyweight bracket will between, be between boxers from Germany and Ukraine. The referee is Georg Lee from the Republic of Korea. Judges from USA, Canada, Puerto Rico, Cuba, and Jordan. So there is Nelvi Tierfak from Germany. 22 years of age, the tournament number one seed, ranked number five in the world. His opponent, Sotne Rogavap from Ukraine, 28 years age, of age, born in Georgia, took the Ukrainian national title in 2019 and competed on the global stage at the 2019 World Championships in Yekaterinburg earlier that year. We've got judges from the United States of America, Canada, Puerto Rico, Cuba and Jordan scoring this one. So we're underway then, super heavyweight action, men's 91 kilogram plus. The tournament number one seed is the figure wearing red. And you can see what a powerhouse of an individual he is. First saw him in the 2016 World Youth Championships at St. Petersburg, where he came away with a bronze medal. He was a terrific talent then. Unsurprisingly, he was up at 91 kilograms plus some Whoa. five years ago when he was a teenager. He's always been a big boy, and he continues to fill out that frame as he bids to become an Olympian for the first time. Right hand over the top from the man in blue wasn't too far away. Sotone Ragava had a multi-nations win in the Stranger tournament in Bulgaria. And that always are showing where plenty of boxers from around the world take part. That was in 2019, before the lockdown. Right hand landed for Ragava. Nice use of the right uppercut on the inside from the man in blue. Or Tiafak made to miss by some terrific defensive maneuvers in the pocket from Rogava. Looking for the body shot there, Rogava. Nice left nice uppercut sharp landed uppercut, on the inside yeah, from Rogava. He picked that one well, Ron, didn't he? Just tripped to fact with the, the right hand, put it over his eyes, and he chipped that uppercut through the middle. Marky experience, really, and skills. Nice movement in the pocket once again from Rogava, who is remaining very composed, just swaying at the waist. Demonstrating good head movement as he scores Whoa. with a right uppercut, then a right hook around the corner. Tiafak swinging away, but nowhere near as accurate as the man in blue. Not even close. So good left jab landed by Rogava. That was the better of those jabs that were exchanged during that trade-off. Tiafak quarter-finalist at the 2019 World Championships in Yekaterinburg a couple of years ago. Losing at the quarter-final stage to Kamshibek Kunkabeyev of Kazakhstan. So no mean performer. Absolutely. Bronze medalist. And oh, that's a flashing Whoa. right hand landed once again from Rogava, who has landed the more eye-catching punches during the course of this opening round and demonstrated the other side of the sweet science with effective defensive maneuvers, both dipping at the knees, swaying at the waist, and using good head movement as well. Very good opening round of boxing. So Regava electing to remain standing. 
in between rounds. Some of the action from that first three minutes. Regava with some really eye-catching singles and yeah. that combination, like left to the body, right to the head. Yeah, he was looking to set his bigger shot up with a starting shot. As we've seen as he pawed out that light right hand as the scores run, and rightly so, 10-9 across the board for the man in blue. So Satone Rogava taking the first round unanimously. Just by using his experience, really, more than anything else. Throwing a fake shot before throwing the shot that he really meant to throw after that. Let's see how the tactics come out in the second round. I think Regava has found his range now. So what can TFAC do differently? It's his first bout of this European Olympic qualification event. Received a bye in the first preliminary round. That was contested at the Copper Box in London. Regava was a unanimous point decision winner over the 2019 national champion of Lithuania. Agirdes Banulis. Baniulis. But here, across the English Channel, at La Grande Dome, just outside Paris, it is Regava oh, who has nice. settled into his work magnificently. Yeah, did you see him slide back out of range there, Ron? Absolutely. Tiafak comes forward with a treble jab, and none of them landed as Regava just used his feet to slide back out of range. Well, Tiafak was looking to get on the front foot there and yeah. bulldoze his opponent back to the ropes, yeah. but Regava tucked up effectively. And he's, you wouldn't expect that kind of fluid movement from a fellow this size, would you? He slid back out of range there as, as he was on an escalator at the airport. Really, really good footwork there from the big man in blue, choosing to kind of hold his feet now and stand his ground and maybe beat Tia Fak to the jab there. But Tia Fak trying to just trying to still get in range and get those right hands over the top. But up to now, Ron, no success. Both men have been scoring to the body during the course of this round. Yep, you saw the double have. jab right cross attempted from Tiafak, but it was repelled by the blue gloves of Regava. I think Regava has the better jab as well, Ron, but definitely not using it as frequently as he probably should be. Good flurry upside there. Tiafak using his physical strength just to push Regava off there. Steady him back up. I think he's a lot happier going forward, Tiafak. This is some impressive inside work as well, Ron, by both men, really. Absolutely. At long range, Regava has had the better of it for my money. And so that's why perhaps Tiafak is looking to impose his size and strength and push the man in blue backwards. But Regava remaining so composed when he's yep. in a short mid-range. 20 okay. boxers comprise nice. the Good super work heavyweight there. bracket. Four of them will qualify for Tokyo 2020. So you've got to make it through to the final four. Good left hand to the body from Regava, but you've got to make it all the way through to the medal podium to become an Olympian from the super heavyweight division. Good right hand to the body once again, and once more from Regava. Nice. Clapping two-shot combination over the top from Tiafek. Very good work by both men, though, Ron. Most certainly. Tiafek's having his successes here in this round as well. He's landed some good overhand rights. He's been effective with the left hook. He's went to the body well. There's a good right hand over the top from Regava on the 10 second clapper, getting up on his toes, retreating backwards. And still, Tiafak comes, not protecting his chin. Nope. Took a little, little cheeky right hand on the inside. Experience, Ron, experience. Action packed second round. Remember these 91 kilogram plus super heavyweights, but they're letting their hands go freely. We can see some of the good inside work by both men. Tiafak opting to press forward more in that round, trying to shut down the space. Good body shot there. And again, by Regava up close. This was a good spell here for Tiafek in the corner. Worked well to the body and head while negating Regava's attack on the reply. Closer round, Ron. Yep, 4 1 in favour of Regava. So. The man from Ukraine leads 20 points to 18 for judges one, two, three, and four. It's all square, 19 points apiece for judge five. After Tiafak took it for that particular observer. Took the second round, that is. So we're into the third and final round now then. And Regava with a commanding lead after two completed rounds. As Tiafak turns southpaw, just willing his way forwards and wailing away. 
with both hands out of that southpaw stance, targeting the body effectively, and he is letting heavy leather fly, pinning his opponent in the neutral corner and going to work in the first 30 seconds of this third and final round. Well, you wonder, Ron, if he senses that he's maybe got a little breakthrough there towards the end of the second. And isn't he coming on strong now? <laughs> oh, he's ripping those body shots in there, Ron. Sinking shots just above the belt line of the man in blue, rattling Whoa. his ribcage in a right hand over the top. Rogava trying to fight back. Now, remember, Rogava put an awful lot into the first two rounds, boxing and moving. But Tiafak just trying to get close up and make this a mid and short range battle. He, he's doing a pretty good job of it as well, is he not? Most certainly is. Minute gone in the second round, and what? Tiafak has had a fantastic start. Yep, he Regarda doesn't want to... standing stock still. Yep, he doesn't want to stay out there too long, though, Ron, on the outside, as Rogavo will get that jab working again. This is where Tiafak wants to be up, close and personal, and working hard inside, really making Rogavo work for it. He most, and this one, well, you can see, is becoming a fight now. Rogava not able to establish that jab or the backward movement that served him so well over the course of the first two rounds. And it is toe-to-toe -to -toe between these 91 kilogram plus super heavyweights. Rogava looking a little bit weary. Tiafak a little bit fresher. Yeah, he does, and younger and just like more vibrant as well. Ron, tricky question for you here. Who do you think has the weight advantage here? It's a tough one Most to call. Most certainly is. These yeah, are two really big, is. strong athletes. Good flurry of punches from Regarba, ending with a left hand to the body. Now he's looking to demonstrate his skill in the pocket. Yeah, well, the reason for my question is, will that come into play? You know, is the physically bigger boxer here going to be the one who, who finishes stronger? I can certainly tell you in the lighter weight classes, if you have a, a two or three kilogram weight advantage, it's a massive, massive advantage, Ron. Well, these guys don't have to hit the scales, of course. Their weight's generally not yep. announced. Yep. All we know is that they're heavier than 91 kilograms, but these guys, well, they look <laughs> well over the 110 mark. They certainly do, and I've seen some of these super heavyweights at the big competitions not even bothering to take off the tracksuits. <laughs> they get on with their shoes on and everything because it really doesn't matter that much as long as they're in condition to go hard for three three-minute rounds. Well, that's what they've demonstrated here. Credit to Regarba <laughs> sure because have. he was... Looking as though he was going to get overwhelmed at the oh. start of this third round, but this one has turned into a terrific two-way action in the final so three minutes. So good to watch. Brilliant display between two talented super heavyweight boxers. Brilliant stuff for the but viewers. But given the context of the bout going into the third and final round, despite this man's yeah. barnstorming finish, I think his bid to make the Olympics is coming to an end right here yeah. at the conclusion of his first contest. Credit to Regava because he withstood the rally that Tiafak launched yes, in the third and that's final round and unbelievable. got his way back into it in the closing stages of the third. Well, for those people who, the detractors that say the big guys, the super heavyweights, they're slow and cumbersome and boring, they, these two guys have just ruined that. They just squashed that rumour because that was fought at a 75 kilogram pace. The winner on points by unanimous decision. In the blue corner, Representing Ryukyu, Sotne Rogava. So, Sotne Rogava, a unanimous points decision winner over the tournament number one seed, the fifth ranked boxer in the world, eliminated in the round of 16. And it is Rogava who remains in contention to book his place at his first Olympic Games. The reigning Ukrainian national champion eliminating the 2019 European Games bronze medalist got himself an insurance policy over the course of the first two rounds. Tiafak came on tremendously strong at the start of the third, threatening to overwhelm Rogava, but Rogava withstood the rally and battled back and has done enough to earn himself a unanimous points decision win. What a contest. Fantastic contest. There's a score in there, Ron. 28-29 so across close, the board. That's man. how close wow. it was. But all of the judges favouring the work of the man from Ukraine. The number one seed eliminated, blowing wide open the top half of the super heavyweight tournament bracket. Unbelievable.